No, no, no. You personally, do you believe he should be impeached? I do. Okay, and you believe that because you believe Chairman Comer has proven that he committed a high crime and misdemeanor? No, because I know that he committed high crimes and misdemeanors. Okay. I was involved and saw them happen. Right, but obviously... Tony Bobolinsky. Bobolinsky. I love this guy. This is the kind of guy you want to see when they're having these Senate oversight committees uh, and they bring in these people like Zuckerberg or they bring in, uh, you know, uh, Robert Hur, etc. You want somebody who's just like finally looks these dim-witted peewee brain dems right in the eye and say, you're a complete Momo. If you haven't heard, the House Oversight Committee met today uh, to hear the testimony of ex-business partner Tony Bobolinsky on grounds to impeach um, President Biden for influence peddling and basically the entire uh, Biden crime family with Hunter Biden, who's an absolute travesty. I'm going to share you some clips of just how awesome this guy is. I mean, I just, I felt like, A, he was extremely uh, credible. I felt like he did a great job of answering these atrocious, dim-witted questions from uh, Miss Crockett, AOC. I'll show you a clip of AOC having an absolute meltdown. Uh, I thought he did a great job of really um, composing himself and providing enough substance that actually I thought uh, deemed uh, ethos worthy, was credible. So check out these clips right now, and then we'll talk about it. You probably haven't seen most of these clips, but I would love for you to check these out, and then let me know in the comments what you think. Let's check out the first one here. Okay, this one is just a real quick one I have to share with you, because there was an empty seat next to Bobolinsky, you know, in front of the House Oversight Committee, and uh, Hunter Biden's name was the name tag in front of this empty seat, which, you know, because he's a complete, uh, uh, you know, scaredy cat. He knows what's going to happen at these things. And he just didn't even show up. He didn't even show up to his own. Uh, he had a chance to testify. The House Oversight Committee gave him a chance to testify. And he didn't even show up. And watch how masterfully Bobolinsky points this out without actually pointing it out. Check this out. Should I allow Hunter to give his opening statement first? Well, uh doesn't appear Mr. Biden showed up for his public hearing, so we'll recognize you, Mr. Bobolinsky. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Oh my God, I just think that's absolutely brilliant. Tell me you... <laughs> I just think that's absolutely brilliant. I'm telling you right now, I think this Bobolinsky guy is just on fire. He literally lit up this entire committee on fire. Watch him essentially, in this uh, clip of his opening statement, essentially call Raskin a liar right to his face. Watch this. Yet the same people preaching this mantra know better. They continue to lie directly to the American people without hesitation and remorse. Rep. Dan Goldman and Jamie Raskin, both lawyers, and Mr. Goldman, a former prosecutor with the SDNY from New York, will continue to lie today in this hearing and then go straight to the media to tell more lies. Hunter Biden's defense attorney, Abby Lowell, weaponizes letters to Congress to try to smear my name. Mr. And Chairman. State the cold hard facts M mr chairman in an attempt to save his powerfully going. connected client Wait. and his father i challenge mr lowell to make those claims on national television so he can be held accountable for his lies prior to my successful business career i was an officer in the united states navy at navy's elite naval nuclear power training command i later served as the chief uh, the command's chief technology officer for saying i apologize for the disruption from the Okay. Am I supposed to say it's my time, Mr. Raskin? Yeah. But please, J Mr. Bobolinsky, please. <laughs> okay. Love it. Come to order. Uh, so good. Mr. Bobolinsky, Mr. Bobolinsky, please okay. proceed. Okay. Please proceed. I apologize for the disruption from the minority. Okay. Can well, I, you, Mr. Chairman, they save his time, but he called members of this committee liars, and I just want to know whether the order and decorum requirements of House Rule 11 apply to witnesses appearing before the committee. You uh, weasel. Do, do the, does it apply or does it not? Should I, should I address? I, I don't. Huh. What a weasel! You're such a weasel, Raskin. Empty-headed bum. There's hard line. There's decorum from the members. We've asked for that. There's no language that I'm aware of pertaining to a witness. Yeah. Thank you. So, so uh, don't uh, make sure we didn't uh, waste any of his time on the opening statement. 
Mr. Bobulinski, I'm sorry for the disruption. Please continue your opening yeah, statement. I think uh, you, Mr. Raskin, used we'll, we'll make sure it's right. We'll oh, okay, make sure it's right. great. I just want to restate, uh, make sure the American people hear all these facts. Ab <laughs> I just love this guy. This is the guy we need. He served in the Navy, for crying out loud. I love this Bobulinski guy. He literally took this entire committee to school, and I believe every word of it. I want to hear from you guys, Nez Nation. What do you guys think? Do you believe Bobulinski? He, do you believe what he said? He said that these guys definitely, I know for a fact, they committed these crimes. I know for a fact that Hunter Biden, the whole entire Biden crime, crime family, uh, did influence peddling, and they should be. He says, yes, he should be impeached. I love this guy. This is the kind of guy we need. Okay, in this clip right here, Awesome, our, our man of the hour, Mr. Jim Jordan from Ohio, actually poses the question directly to Bobolinsky and says, who's the big guy? Who's the head honcho? Watch this. The, the ranking member just said that Joe, quote, Joe Biden was opposed to corruption. Really? So opposed, he leveraged a billion dollars of American tax money to fire the prosecutor in Ukraine who was investigating Zolachevsky at Burisma, the the company Hunter Biden sat on the board of. Wow. And the, and the prosecutor who replaced Shokin that Mr. Parna has referenced in his opening statement, Mr. Lutsenko, guess what he did? He took Zolachevsky off the wanted list and dropped the charges. Wow, he's really, really opposed to corruption there. Mr. Bobolinsky, who's the big guy? Joe Biden. Are you sure about that? Because when... Jordan, when uh, Joe you're Biden. Sure? You're sure? I'm a thousand percent sure. Because when Hunter Biden did his deposition under oath, he said, I don't know who it is, even though he was copied on an email that said H will hold 10 percent for the big guy. You sure it's the big guy is, is Joe Biden? A thousand percent. And there's other text messages that back that up that the brave whistleblowers, Shapley and Ziegler, have produced, not from my phones, not from my Blackberry that I took screenshots from. They took them from subpoenas directly from Apple's iCloud that wow. back up the fact that Hunter knew the big guy was Joe Biden. The big guy everyone. is the brand. The big guy is the lift. The big guy is the one who showed up at golf outings, who did took phone calls and meetings and lunches and dinners with Hunter Biden and his business associates. Is that right? Correct. <laughs> wow. 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 That okay. is just absolutely amazing. I mean, I believe every word that Bobolinsky says. I think he's just right on point. He does not seem like he's, uh, you know, forwarding any information that uh, seems irregular. Uh, he He's not, you know, timid. There's no apprehension. He has full conviction. He has full powers of his faculties. And he speaks with considerable aplomb. I, I totally believe this guy. Okay, now check out how Bobolinsky absolutely causes AOC to have a complete and total meltdown on air live in front of the world. Check this out. Did you deal. witness the what? president commit it's, it's, a crime? Is it your testimony today? Yes. And what crime do you uh, have you witnessed? How much time do I have to go through it? It is simple. You name the crime. Uh, Did you watch him steal something? Cor corruption statutes, you, RICO and conspiracy. What is it? What is, are, uh, what is the crime? He's trying to sir? tell you. you, you Specifically. You, just, uh, wait, you, keep, uh, you asked me to answer the question. I answered the question. No. RICO, you're obviously not familiar with. Corruption Excuse statutes. Excuse me, sir. Excuse are, me, sir. Excuse me, sir. RICO is not a crime. Doesn't it is act. a category. What I is the, it's the category crime? of crimes that you're then charged? You under. have charges. A long hundred. You list have charges, <laughs> sir. Please you want me to name, name the exact statute sir? under RICO. Yes. Oh, well, it's funny in this committee room. Everyone's not here. There's over eight. All right, sir. I reclaim my lawyers time. Lawyers. I reclaim my school. time. I I'll reclaim my time. You guys okay, to thank you, the sir. I reclaim my time. Rico. Did you deal. witness? He brings up an excellent point. There's 18,000 lawyers in this committee that could probably identify. He tries to answer AOC's question, and then she gets all Jerry Springer neck. RICO is not a crime. It is a category. Actually, it's a framework that is literally the contingency, the basis for a whole litany of crimes. And so AOC has no idea what she's talking about. Okay, now watch how Bob Alinsky literally lays out how he discovered Biden, both Joe and Hunter, 
how their business adventures were really a bribe operation with the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. Wait till you hear this. Listen to this. You're a serious business person, Mr. Bobulinski, right? I am. Uh, unlike the convicted felon next to you, you've served in the military, right? Correct. You've done big deals. Correct. Complicated deals. Deals that involved foreign businesses, right? Correct. And so what I'm trying to figure out is when you came to realize that you showed up at the wrong party. Because you kind of strike me as a guy who showed up to do a legitimate business deal and you ended up instead at a bribe. And so as you're looking at CEFC, as you're having this meeting with Joe Biden, as Hunter Biden is introducing you to his web of contacts, when did you go from serious businessman, Tony Bobulinski, working to make a buck in a capitalist system to a guy worried that you had been unwittingly ensnared into Hunter and Joe Biden's bribe operation with the Chinese Communist Party? I appreciate the question. It wasn't an aha moment, it was more of a process. I am a serious businessman, demonstrated by the different deals I've done around the world and uh, the success of them. But it started, remember, the Biden family wasn't my entry into this. James Gillier, who I'd known for over 10 years, who traveled the world doing business, kept trying to get me involved. I really had no interest, no interest. I got, I sat down in the spring of 2017 to walk through things, and then I quickly put together two businesses, Sinohawk and Oneida. After the meetings in Los Angeles with Hunter and Joe Biden, it started to sort of, bells and whistles started to go off when Jim Biden used the term plausible deniability. Plausible I mean, deniability is the first moment, straight from the lips of Jim Biden, right on the heels of your discussion with Joe Biden, where you start to think, this might not be legit. Correct, and my lawyers at the time could attest to that because I reached out to them saying, Listen, I'm a former naval officer. I held a Q security clearance. I couldn't collect. Somebody couldn't take me to dinner for $50. This just does not make sense to me. But you they proceed. But you proceed, and then later this thing starts to get a lot ug uglier. What's the moment you go from, okay, your spidey senses are up, you're analyzing this, to now you know this is a crime that you are bearing witness to? The end of July, when the Biden family put them right front and center in the middle of a $9 billion transaction between the Russian state-owned energy company Rosneft and CFC, a surrogate for the Chinese Communist Party. And was there ever a time in the deals you were involved in where you started to see the money move around the legitimate business enterprise and toward the pockets of the Bidens? Well, the challenge, Mr. Gates, with that is at the time they moved the money Right? You guys have the text messages where Hunter Biden shook down Director Zhang, but I was not aware of that. I spent a year asking questions of, this doesn't make sense to me, where's the money? I, I stepped in and had lawyers work to dissolve the two entities. I didn't know till years later that they had defrauded me, they had gotten paid all this money and um, all this craziness. The amount yeah, it, of fact, it just seems I, pretty simple. This is either a bribe or a business. It was a bribe from the Chinese Communist Party. And, you, and, and, and I don't say that lightly. There's 1,200 pages, eight days of testimony in the Southern District of New York. I encourage everyone watching me, hearing me say this, they're publicly available. Go read them. Our Department of Justice outlines in intimate detail the corruption and bribes that CFC was deploying to political officials all over the world. It wasn't so just I'm the here to States. believe that they did this in every other country, but with the Biden family, it was pristine. It was an actual clean business. That's absurd. This guy has no teleprompter. He has no notes. He's speaking. You can hear it in his voice, in his tone, in his energy, his mannerisms, his gesticulations. Everything in my, and I think I'm a pretty good, you know, I've gotten it wrong in the past before. I think I'm a pretty good read of character. He seems absolutely 100% confident. There's no shakiness. There doesn't seem to be any nerves. There doesn't seem to be any indication that Tony Bobolinsky is telling a fib, lying to uh, the House Oversight Committee, lying to the world, lying to Congress. He's able to draw facts data analysis from actual memory. This guy served in our military. 
he's a successful business person. To me, he has all the ethos in the world. Although Miss Crockett, AOC, Raskin, all these uh, dim-witted peewee brain dims, they would say the other. You guys, you see, another reason why I keep saying that this is the most consequential year of our republic, the hypocrisy has gotten too much to take. That's the whole purpose of my channel. They are throwing the kitchen sink. Nez, why are you covering this? They're throwing everything in the kitchen sink. They're trying to get Trump off the ballot, for crying out loud. They're trying to say that you guys don't deserve, even though you want to, you don't deserve to vote for this guy. They're cooking up hoax after hoax after hoax. Bloodbath, vermin. Oh, he said this about mine. It's all BS. These guys are the real criminals. These guys are the real rot gut of our society. They are the spawn from the swamp and they need to be taken out. They need This is stuff that you'll never see. You won't see this on mainstream media anywhere. This is why my channel has so much purpose. I'm inflamed. I got a fire in my belly. I'm sick and tired of seeing our country go through the toilet. My kids, my great grandkids, my grand, I want to see a future. I want this country to flourish for thousands of years, if not more. And this is really a big, the stakes can't be higher this year. So I throw it off to you, Nez Nation. What do you guys think of Bobolinsky? What do you think of everything that he pointed out? What do you think of how he exposed the entire Biden crime? Why isn't uh, Hunter there? Why don't you speak your piece? Why don't you defend yourself? What's wrong? You scared? I would love to hear your thoughts. As always, I try really hard to respond to most of the comments. It's literally impossible to respond to all of them. I really do try hard. Obviously, channel members, super chats, super thanks get first priority. Think about becoming a member. It only costs you one cup of coffee. One cup of coffee for the entire month to support the truth. If you believe in America, if you want to save America, I'm never going to stop. But these videos take time, energy, money, I mean, resources, all the help that you can give, it goes right back into the channel. So I really, really uh, encourage you to do that. You get all sorts of perks and benefits for being exclusive content, for being a member. If you made it this far, don't forget in the pinned comment and in the description and show notes, there is our free newsletter, Become a Nez Nation Insider. It's our free newsletter so you're always in the know. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Make sure you check out these videos that we posted today. These are fantastic videos, especially our live stream right there. But this video right here is absolutely illuminating. Check out that video right there. As always, God bless you, your families. Subscribe, follow, and God bless America. I'll see you soon.